note that I'm using this KVPC3510 rectifier because it has a maximum voltage handling capability of up to 1000 volts, maximum current handling capability of up to 35 amperes and a maximum surge current handling capability of up to 400 amps. So keeping that in mind, we can start by applying the heat sink compound on my rectifiers. For which I have this great tip. On close up, you can see how uneven the distribution of the thermal paste is, plus, it is using twice the paste needed to get the job done with the same results. So, to improve this, simply take the other rectifier and rub its surface on the first one until you get the proper distribution. On close up, you can compare it for yourself on which one is better. So here I'm going to use four different colored wires where red and black are going to be your positive and negative for the overall output and yellow and blue are going to be your AC input and all these are 4mm copper wires. Moving on to the second half of this project, I have these thyristor controlled motor speed controllers with which I can control the speed of the AC motors and not the DC motors. And one is uh, 1 kilowatts and the other one is 4 kilowatts. I know what some of you might be thinking. I'm showing you this big motor speed controller which is AC and uh, just now I've made this big rectifier. So what I might be doing is connecting the rectifier directly to the outputs of my motor speed controller and it is going to control the DC motors then. You are right. But I'm not going to do that in this video because that method has too many flaws to count and I'm going to make it much better and I'm also going to compare both of them here in this video. So keep watching. So starting with the AC input, I have these 2.5 mm copper wires which will be connected as shown. Also, these are temporary wires which will be replaced at the time of full load testing. Finally, connecting the AC input of my rectifier to the output of my controller. Now my basic model for the DC motor speed controller is fully complete and uh, it has already been connected to this big DC motor. You can see the motor has started at a very low speed but there is too much vibration and humming sound as I said. You can see so much humming is there. Take the speed higher. Wow! The speed is pretty good though. Wow! Oh, pretty good. So that's the kind of wave we are getting over here. It is nowhere close to pure DC. There are too many spikes. So this is what we have to rectify. Now for making an advanced circuit, only three simple components are needed. So it is not at all difficult. Two capacitors and one inductor. 
The first one is this 120 microfarad 400 volts electrolytic capacitor. It is quite old, but it is still working. The second one is this 450 volts 1400 microfarad electrolytic capacitor plus and minus. And lastly, this thick winding inductor. So the step one is to fully insulate the capacitor both electrically and thermally and after that installing it somewhere close to the rectifiers. Next take a red wire and connect the positive of the capacitor to the overall positive output of the rectifiers. Next take a different colored wire black or green something like that and connect it to the negative of the capacitor and then to the overall negative of the rectifiers which is black in my case. Now adding this simple capacitor is going to reduce the spikes from the initial waveform and averaging it out. So the design is fully complete and it looks great to me but your genuine reviews have an equal importance so let me know about that in the comment section down below. Finally I'm going to highly recommend you to go through an extra effort and add this 6 amperes diode to the design because uh, it is a freewheeling diode that is going to discharge the inductor as well as the charge stored by the armature of a motor. Also, this kind of diode is always connected in the reverse, gray side to the positive, black side to the negative. So here as you can see that I've connected the DC motor speed controller to my motor. It is time to test. Here is this great news guys, I have this new website www.electrondeals.com You can see there are so many countries listed for products to buy from Amazon and if not then there is Banggood Worldwide Here you can see similar products are going to be listed in two pages just like the other countries and there are many products most of which I personally have used and have been well satisfied but there are other high rated products also not just random products Next uh, if we check Amazon India 
here you can see amazon india home page one page two the products are exactly the same and if we click on the buy on amazon link you are going to be redirected directly to that page of the product from where you can buy you don't have to go and search for the products link will be provided in the description you can check it out so coming back to the video you see slow starting and no humming and this uh, little sound that is of the vibration nice no humming it is only vibration and the sound of the motor itself let's take it to the highest possible speed This time when you look at the wave you can see that it is very close to pure DC. So testing the maximum drawn current. So finishing off the video I hope you liked the design and enjoyed this video. If you did hit that like and subscribe button. See you in the next one. Stay connected. Bye-bye.